head this way. Okay, so this is a route that you actually can do much earlier, um, because this is the other way that you can go, you can, that you can get to Pastoria. But we're gonna now do this route, so we're pretty much showing off this entire route backwards, because um, normally you would go over here if you head south from Battlestone City. Um, but this is convenient because uh, you have to do, you have to go here anyway, which is why I chose the route for Harpo in order to get to Pastoria City. Uh, so this place here, you can find Wingle and Floatzel here. Floatzel is the evolved form of Weasel, of course, which I already have. And then there's also some trainers here that we're going to go ahead and battle. that I didn't mention way earlier on is that when you get a gym badge then whatever type that the gym that the gym badge is you get a 10% uh, increase in power for that type uh, so since I got the Pastoria gym badge that means all water moves are now 10% stronger than they were before it's pretty good Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you are skeptical of my claim? Then let your floats walk in front of me right here. From its footprints, I'll determine how it feels about you. Some wild Pokemon frown upon others for traveling with humans. They jeered that the caught Pokemon have forgotten the wild. But that view is mistaken. They have just never met a trainer who could be a great partner. A great partner like me, in other words. And that is what your float souls thinks of you. I see. So if you actually have your friendship pretty high up, then uh, he'll actually give you an item. I don't really know what it is. Alright, there's some items here for sure. What do we got? Four, negative one. Uh, are you sure? Is this thing lying to me? Okay, okay. Odd. Oh, well, that's too bad. Beam because well <laughs> it shoots the it shoots the beam from its tail and not from its mouth like many other Pokemon do. We needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientist a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. Oh, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. Why are you thinking out loud again? Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and continue with this nonsense here. But we got two trainers. Let's go ahead and take them both on. Items around here. Let me see if I can find them. Here's a calcium right there. You can find a super potion right over here. 
And you can find a great ball over here. Wonderful. That is something that I cannot do right now. How unfortunate. And then over here you can get yourself a red shard. What do we got here? I stand stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. The seaside suits me better than the sea. I'm gonna go inside over here, and this is the hotel of this place. And you can actually talk to this guy, the receptionist, and he can heal your Pokemon up. And now, here we are in a place that's known as the Valor Lakefront. And when it's a uh, lakefront, then you probably know what that means. Um, also, right around here is a sweet key. And then if we go ahead in here... We're a traveling troop of street performers. In place of a formal introduction, please take these. And we get Team 92. Which, uh, he'll, which contains Trick Room! It means the slower Pokémon goes first, instead of the faster Pokémon. So it's a really good competitive strategy. And uh, there's a few other places that you can explore here. This guy in particular. Come on back here after you defeat the champion. Don't forget about me, okay? Yeah, this guy's pretty special. You'll know why in a moment. Or, not in a moment, but, like, later. Alright, uh, right there you can get some PowerPoint up. Over there. And, um, then, in here, in this restaurant, um, you can actually fight five trainers every day, they're random. And, um, these are all double battles. So if you want the... This is a pretty good way to train your Pokémon if you're interested in the experience. So let's go ahead and take on all of them, shall we? Today's main dish is scrutitiously delicious. If I can keep eating this food, I'll model any time. Things all look very different. That means I don't need to worry about fitting in. If my Pokemon buddies heard I went on a date with you, Allison, they'd probably hate me for it. What? Am I Allison's fan? I guess. smiling face. I can't tell if these appetizers are delicious or not. <laughs> oh, man. What should I have today? Juice, ice cream, cake, and... and... Toast is a type of bread. It counts. By my calculations, the main dish should have arrived by now. Perhaps the thermal setting is too low to prepare the food efficiently? 
You there! Let's battle consu to consume time. Sure thing. Goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Victor is evolving, and he is going to evolve into Hippowdon. Oh man! They brought the main course while we were battling. The calorie content appears to be alarmingly high. All right, one more. He, these horse devourers are simply divine. They tell me that I can expect the main course to be fantastic. I thought the main course were arrived already. You're a trainer seeking battle? more trainers here, but um, these happen to be the trainers on the day that I'm, I'm recording this game on. And um, again, it's random. Random five trainers every single day if you are interested in this training. Over here, you can't actually do anything about. Why am I writing like this anyway? That new universe the boss is talking about, it's giving me goosebumps thinking about it, so we use this. You are eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all the running. What? Does that mean you pooped your pants while you're running here? Jeez, man. You're insane. The insanity of this guy, man. I'm telling you. Uh, what am I gonna do? I've dropped my- I've, I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. Oh, that's my sweet key. You found it for me. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you. So if you found that sweet key, which took me a very long time to figure out on my first time playing this, then you can go ahead and give it to her and she can finally go inside her own suite. Which isn't really a suite, it's just a single room. And uh, for helping her, she'll give you a lava cookie, which is basically a full heal. Heal status ailments. That's it. Alright! Uh, over here, you guys have a paralyzed heal. And then... Oh no, you're still on my tail. The lake's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will knock you out. Finally. Well, that was fun. I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use that at the lake. Oh, man. Oh, what's this? Hello! Did you see that guy running past you? Also, what is this about? We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason? I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. Okay. To protect the lake, it's nice to know there are still people that are worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus? Cyrus, huh? Hello! Long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there's an island inside the lake, and that a mysterious Pokemon resides here. Uh, no one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Maybe. I'm gonna say yes. 
By the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Sida cuddle with their heads in their, uh, hands? Uh, anyway, you, well, what you should do is use this medicine on Sida. You're working on a Pokedex, so it should be worthwhile for you. Okay, and she'll give us a secret medicine for this. I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. I'm searching for it? Says who? I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. Alright. Whatever you say. So here in the Battle Lake front, um, some Pokemon that you could find here. You can find Graveler and Drapherig, which I did use in... Uh, Drapherig is a Pokemon that I did use in my original Diamond LP. And then now here we are in Route 214, where you can find a Sunawudo and Shining Pearl, and then in all games you can find a Golding. Uh, if, you, if you're fishing, that is. But anyway, uh, here's a wrap that we could have done earlier, but we're doing it now. Wait, what? Oh, you can only see me for one tile? That's odd. Here, there's a honey tree right there, if you're interested in finding Pokemon there. Here's all the max potion right around here, and there's about two ways you can go about with this. I'm gonna go ahead and go around here first, since uh, this place is a little bit more interesting. Uh, right here, if you're playing Platinum, then there'd be something around over here, but this is not Platinum. Okay, go in here, and here's a big root. I do not actually remember what it does, but that's an item right there. And um, there's a many, there's a few ways you can go about with, with this. So I'm gonna show off one way to go through this route, and then I'm gonna show the other way later. Actually went in this route briefly in uh, a couple sessions ago, where I this is where we got our Hippopotas, who is now Hippowdon. Hearing yourself a hidden item right there, jar of honey. And then there's more trainers here. I believe over here is a new trainer class called a PI. Make it to uh, what appears to be the end of this route. Uh, yeah, this route's not that long, so this would be the preferred route. If you're just interested in going to the game, then um, you probably want to take this route to get to Pastoria City. All right, so I fought that trainer already because I had to get past her in order to get over here, which. Um, <laughs> Over here, this is the Ruin Maniac Cave, as you recall. Now, you might notice that this cave is actually uh, a little bit larger than 
what it was when we originally found our Book of Toss, when we found Victor. And that's because I spent off screen, in between recording, doing the unknown challenge. So I've been going in the Salacian Ruins, and I caught quite a bit of unknown. I can actually show, show, show this off right now. And this is how much I have caught, as you can see. I caught quite a lot of unknown. By the way, you need to catch unique unknown in order to make this count. Uh, but um, your reward for finding all the unknown is that you'll find uh, the rare exclamation mark and question mark um, unknown Pokemon. So that's how big the unknown cave gets. Whenever you catch more unknown. Which, um, I guess I may as well just commit to it while, while, I'm, that, while I'm this far into the challenge. Mystifying? I'll go east, west, up, down, north, south. One more trainer, I think? In case you're wondering, I should probably talk about this, but... If, you're, if you want to know how many, how many unknown that I caught, since I guess you guys won't be able to count that, count uh, how many unknown that what that I was that I was in my PC box. I've caught 21 out of 26 unknown Pokemon. Um, so the cave, the Rune Mania cave, is pretty far out there, as you can see. All right, and then go through here, and this will take us way back to Veilstone City. Just like that. So I just want to show that route off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and then meet you guys at Slay Town.